Hello friends, welcome. This is a smart exceller and this video is on a demand uh, for the comments I have received. So in the previous uh, video, I think I have made a video on how to have the large and small in a call in a group in a row. So this in this row. So when you select, so you can see how it, uh, the the call numbers will be selected. Uh, so now the same thing I'm going to do is in the column. So this is the column, and uh, the formula is also same. So if you can see this, this is the formula for rows, and this is the formula for columns. So it's almost the same formula, but this light changes. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So first I've already done this here. So first before doing this. I am going to tell you that uh, uh, let me remove this clear contents and the, already the condition of format is there so I am going to remove this so I can do is clear rules from entire sheet or I can go to manage rules and I can delete one by one so this is all, and this one is remaining so I will be doing this is clear from entire sheet but I prefer always go and manage rules because there will be a lot of formulas so by mistake if you delete again you have to if you have save it then it is going to be a big issue so please try to minimize this so i'm going to make a formula on large so how to make the this for the large is the same one this is called greater greater than so i'm going to type the formula here in the beginning so i'm going to do it here first it's going to be like c4 so I'm going to make it for the large. I'm going to type large L A R G L A R G open the parenthesis and I'm going to select an array. So this is going to be my array, and I'm going to log this by hitting F4. And I'm going to hit here F4. And then the I'm going to select the values so this large is i'm going to select it for because i have a data validation i'm going to log this so this is going to be a comma and i'm going to log this the largest is 9500 so then i'm going to make a small the short formula for small so that is also going to be the same one small so s and a l l open the parenthesis select this from the beginning log this uh, the array is from this to here log this comma and here is going to be the small one so i'm going to select here f2 and log this now that it is done so you can see both the formula for has been selected now I'm going to give you the area which had, it has to look so that will be like I'm going to make a and C4 this is the first one for the large I am to make this as greater than sign and enter for this one I'm going to make a lower than sign so I'm going to make less than equal to and enter So I'm going to make this into lower than equal to. So now the formulas are ready. So just you have to do is copy and paste this formulas. So first I'm going to do for the large. So I will I'll be copying this. Copy. You can see if you can paste it here. So then you have to select the area. You can do without selecting also, but it is better to select the area and manage new rule. Go to this one, paste the formula. Before pasting the formula, make into equal to and then paste control V. And then go to the formatting. Fill. Fill any uh, for the greater one you can select green. So now the formula is here ready. So this is for the smaller one. So when you select this, you can see three or four or five. 
so you can see that all are getting selected but now same thing if you want to do for this one also just copy this formula copy check whether it is copied by checking if you can paste here you can paste here so it's okay so select the area go to conditional formatting new rule select here put equal to control v paste go to the formatting choose some other color so it's like it can be something here into red okay okay so now it is selected as four so you have four now we can make it into one so you can see how the formula is working so there is an obstacle over here now if you select the green this one and you can see three four or you can say select two but if there is any character who is an alphabetical character this is going to be selected so you should be see that check that this is not a character so if you type any other word also like also is going to make a issue so you just see that it's already always a number so if you make this uh, the greater one uh, it's a uh, suppose you make 11 power, you can see the formula is working fine so i hope you got this formula so this is the formula this is for rows and this is for columns so please try to do this in the in the sheet and then try to copy and paste because the mistakes can happen i hope you find this formula and uh, easy and this uh, and, and please share this video and uh, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon see you in the next video thank you